Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Thursday, January the 6th. It's the Feast of the Epiphany, and please join me. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, we sing to you a new song. All the earth sings to you. Alleluia, Psalm 96, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, we sing to you a new song. All the earth sings to you. We sing to you and bless your name and proclaim your salvation from day to day. We declare your glory among the nations, your wonders among all peoples. For you are great and greatly to be praised. You are to be feared above all gods. For the gods of the nations are but idols, because it was you who made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before you. Strength and beauty are in your sanctuary. We give you glory and strength. We give you the glory due your name. We bring offerings and come into your courts, and we worship you in the beauty of your holiness. All earth trembles before you. We say among the nations that you reign. The world you established shall not be moved. You judge the people righteously. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and all therein thunder praise. Let the field be joyful and all therein shout for joy. Then all the trees of the wood will rejoice before you. For you come, for you come to judge the earth. You will judge the world with righteousness and the people with truth. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. We sing to you a new song. All the earth sings to you. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 12, beginning at verse 14. But the Pharisees went out and conspired against Jesus how to destroy him. When Jesus became aware of this, he departed. Many crowds followed him, and he cured all of them, and he ordered them not to make him known. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved with whom my soul is well pleased. I will put my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not wrangle or cry aloud, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. He will not break a bruised reed or quench a smoldering wick until he brings justice to victory. And, his, and in his name, the Gentiles will hope. Here ends the lesson. Today, the Feast of the Epiphany, we transition out of the Christmas season and on to the life and the ministry of Jesus. In today's Gospel, we hear of a couple important things. Jesus, now grown up, is curing all of the many crowds that followed him. And he's avoiding the, the authorities, the Pharisees, who, like King Herod from his birth, have conspired to destroy him. And why? Why? Why was the king and the religious authorities so keen to kill Jesus? Is it because he was evil? Ironically, no, but precisely because he is good. The Gospel writer reveals that Jesus is the fulfillment of the word of the prophet Isaiah, and that he comes to reform the corrupt and unjust culture, and the promise that justice will be victorious. This was the hope of the Gentiles hundreds of years before Christ, before Greece, before Rome, and even now is still the hope of the church. Amen. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions for those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for those who are alone. 
for all who are sick, especially those suffering in the COVID pandemic, for the aged and the infirm, for all who suffer with dementia, that they may be pr protected and find courage and hope in your mercy. For prisoners and captives, for the persecuted, for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth. For all who died, especially Brother Ronald Francis, Brother Robert Patrick, Marjorie, Carol, and Lloyd. For all who serve in harm's way. For all the victims of terrorism and violence. For the mercy of God community, for Brother Joe, Brother Todd, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother Bill, Brother Max, Brother Bill, and for all the mercy of God associates for the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O loving God, be our shield and grant us your blessings. May we trust in you and bless you now and forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.